the 1300 fits perfect for your Mavic. Mavic fits in, controller, and I actually have mine set up to where I can fit three batteries, one in the Mavic. I have two compartments pulled out of the pick and pluck foam to fit the other two batteries. Everything fits in there well. You got a lot of cushion in there. Shock's not going to be a problem. The case is waterproof. I like to take mine kayaking. Throw it on the kayak. You don't have to worry about flipping over. The case will float. Uh, on an airline, you have the pressure seal, or even if you're going up and down mountains, you don't have to worry about the case getting overpressurized from high pressure, low pressure. It works really well. I've never had a problem with it. Uh, we have traveled across the country. Just throw it in the car and go. You don't have to worry about piling stuff on top of your drone. You don't have to worry about where it's at. Just throw it in the car and go. One nice thing with the Pelican cases is you can buy extra pick and pluck foam to put into them. The pick and pluck foam, I don't know if you can see, just is corrugated. You can pull out little pieces of individual foam. That way you can make the pattern however you need to make it to fit whatever you're putting in there. Another thing I wanted to show you today was I not only put my drone in there, but I have a new Canon 70D and I need a good hard case for it rather than going out and buying another one. I'm just going to reuse the same one because rarely if I'm on a hike or something that I'm going to need to really get the protection, I'm only going to take one or the other. So first off, you can see the Canon does fit in fine without the foam. On the bottom, after you have your two layers of pick and pluck out, there is another layer of foam. So you can go all the way through both layers. If you notice on the one for the Mavic, I've just shaved down part of it. That was just to give me a little bit of extra room for everything to set right the way I wanted it. So now I'm just going to show you how to do the pick and pluck to make it fit what you're looking for. I usually start out, take whatever I have, and just set it on top of the foam. Get an idea of where I'm going to want it to set and kind of give it a little push in. And then I just take and run my finger down in to separate along the border. I usually try to make it so it's a little bit tighter than what you'd think you want. That way, the whatever you're putting into it stays tight, doesn't get shuffled around. Now when you're done, you should have a general outline of whatever you just took out. If you need to check and see how the fitting's going to be, just set it back down in. Nice and snug. Now one thing to watch is, like I said, sometimes you do want to leave it a little tighter than you think. Over here I could have left these two blocks in and would have probably been better off. Up here I just took out a general area, so I could have left those in right there. Also, I could have left this corner in, but none of that's a big problem. But the camera does stay nice and snug. It's not going to get beat around. To give you an idea how that's going to look now, just set the whole thing down in there. Sometimes you have to pull out whatever you just fit it to. I did not buy... Pelican brand pick and pluck. I just got something generic off of Amazon. It said it was for the 1300 case. Obviously, it's a little bit bigger than the ones that came with the Pelican case. You can see it's almost a whole extra line bigger and in the front as well. The problem with this outside line is it is not corrugated. You need that as your stable mounting place all the way around. So I'll have to see what brand it was I bought and I can't actually recommend them since they aren't made correct for the box that they're for. Alright, after that little fiasco. But as you can see, you still have a good solid platform for your camera. Next step is just to do the same thing, but you're going to do it on the top. Obviously, you can pick if you want to just do part of it, but if you need to, all you have to do if you want to do a half layer is pull out the foam you have that's going to be in the half layer, and then just take a razor blade or scissors and cut along until it's the height you want. Place it back in and it should stay solidly. 
Once again, that's assuming you have the Pelican brand foam. I'm not sure how this stuff is. If you're just gonna do the same thing, top and bottom, easiest way to do that is just to top, lay one layer on top of the other and then go around and pick it out. That way you've already got your pattern. You won't have to go through and remeasure off your device. Now you have your Pelican case for your DSLR. Not going anywhere. Thank you. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to hit that like and subscribe button. And I appreciate the views.